Hey, seniors, how are you doing today? Today is Wednesday, March the 17th. I'm sorry, 16th, March the 16th. Let's take a look at what we got going on today. Uh, we will start with another question today. Again, we want you to start thinking about some of these concepts, some of these ideas to really get you thinking about things. And today's question is deceptively easy. All of these hopefully are a little bit deceiving in a way. Um, would life be easier if you didn't have to worry about things like work or food or where you live or any of those kinds of things? Would life be easier? Um, so during this, uh, during the time that 1984 was written, um, there was a huge rise in communism. There was a, you know, kind of was spreading, I don't want to say around the world, but it definitely was making a lot of inroads, especially in Russia. And these, um, these communist societies started with this concept of that, uh, hey, we're going to provide you everything you need. We're going to give you a job. We're going to give you food. We're going to give you, you know, a purpose. We'll make sure that you have a place to live. We're going to provide all of these basic things. On paper, that sounds really awesome. But if you think about in the American society, the way we look at things, uh, does that really fit with what we're thinking, right? And so I want you to kind of explore this. Uh, would life be simpler if you didn't have to worry about certain things, right? And again, you're going to have to take that second step because yes or no is not the right answer. You're going to have to be able to explain why yes or why no and give us some examples. Prove what you're, uh, what you're talking about. Again, your best answers are going to be two or three sentences long. And then we're going to jump into uh, the assignment that we're going to work on today and tomorrow. So in 1984, there's a lot of discussion about government control and who controls the information and what is the real information and are we really getting the truth? Today, we see that in the form of conspiracy theories. There's all kinds of conspiracy theories out there. Um, it seems to be more of them lately uh, in a fractured news um, environment that we're in today. But there have been conspiracy theories for a long time. Who shot JFK? Did we really land on the moon? Are there aliens in Area, 450, uh, in Area 51? Um, what we want to do is we want to start today having you research some uh, conspiracy theories that you can present with the rest of us. You may work with a partner, okay? Just ones or twos, ones or twos, singular, uh, present, uh, singular presentations, or it can be a pair. We don't want more than three because there's not a ton of work to do to spread out evenly. So the slide deck here, I provided you with a blank template. And the slide deck um, is where you're going to collect your information um, that you're going to be able to share with the rest of us. As before, um, if you once you get ready to get started, you will have to create a copy of this. You have to go file, make a copy, okay? File, make a copy, and the entire presentation, okay? Uh, if you are a um, if you are working with somebody. One person will create it, share it to the other person, and then the original, the person that originally made the copy will also have to be the one to submit it, all right? So the thing about this is too, I would go ahead right now and attach it. Once you have created it, go ahead and attach it to the assignment. That way you don't have to worry about uh, forgetting or like your partner's not there the other day or something, right? You can't submit it. Go ahead and get that put in right off the bat. So this is pretty straightforward. We want you to find three conspiracy theories, number one, number two, and number three. We have those listed slides here for you. Under each of these, we would like to give like an overview. What is it? What were people thinking? What were they covering up? Uh, what was kind of give us the background of it, right? If there is a debunked view, please share that. We do want, uh, you know, the full picture of it. Down here at the bottom, we want you to put the source. Where did you find this information at? Right? Where did it come from? Um, this is important because we want to make sure that you actually have a legit source. And it's kind of oxymoron in a way because we're talking about conspiracy theories that may or may not actually be true, but we want to find a valid source for that information. Behind each of the conspiracy theories, we want you to include a visual. Give us an image of what it is. Now, uh, uh, for instance, the assassination of John F. Kennedy. You know, there's a lot of conspiracy theories and there's some video proof of that, like the mysterious shooter on the grassy knoll or something. That might be the image you use. Or it could be an image of the assassination itself. So, uh, you know, use an image to help represent that. There are three of these that we want you to do. 
if you look at the last slide, it'll show you how this will be graded. Uh, you do get up to 25 points for this. Um, this is the breakdown of the slides. You'll get one point. Um, you can get up to one point for having the title slide with the name, uh, the names of all your people. Um, you get up to six points for describing the conspiracies completely. You get three more points for having at least one image per. You also get six. Uh, you also get six points to provide the credit. Where did the pictures come from? Where did the information come from, including that link? Okay. You can get up to five for the grammar, spelling, and punctuation. So again, everything needs to be clean. You can have two more points for the consistency and clean slides. We want to make sure that you know things aren't really random. Everything is kind of neat and orderly. That's one of the one of the uh, meaningful pieces of a presentation. And then you can get two more points. Okay, you can get the last two points on changing the theme of your presentation, making it look different. Now, you could change the theme by going up here, format, um, I'm sorry, over here under theme, you can change it here, all right, or you can go in and make your own, change the background, change the fonts, change the colors, what, make it something other than your own, all right, those are two more, uh, those are the last two of the 25 points total that you can earn on this, okay? Again, I would really suggest the person who creates it, go ahead and attach it. You don't have to hit submit yet, but that way it is already there and you don't lose anything. We will start this today and we will finish this tomorrow. Um, so you will have some work time tomorrow to finish this. And then we're going to pull them up on the big board and take a look at what all you have found. Anyway, please make sure that you're reaching out to either Ms. McGuire or I so that we can help you. And good luck, everyone. Have fun with this.